I'm gonna show you how to drive a post. That post. I'm gonna use the Montana T-Rex. How about that? On the MT-85. Yeah, let's do that. This bad boy, yeah. This is like the Bob Kitten of the Bobcats. It's small, but still feisty. Taxi! We have this driver that's set up on an old frame, an old Bobcat attachment frame, and it is set up to go on to the MT-85, or it's set up to go on to a regular full-size skid steer. Um, so it's very universal because we can use it uh, on this one or a full-size, and it doesn't matter. As always, when you hook up to any kind of attachment, just for your safety, you always want to make sure that those pins are in. The pin is the locking pin that goes through the uh, attachment arm here on the front of the MT-85 when it drops down and locks this attachment to the actual machine. Now these couplers right here, they'll go between each machine. So they'll hook up to an MT-85 or they'll hook up to a full-size skid steer. There's no, you don't have to swap anything out whatsoever. So this whole contraption right here, it was made in the house. It was made by us. Uh, we can't take 100% of the credit for it because as Mark has disclosed before, he saw it somewhere else. And as he says, our best ideas are stolen, 100%. The nice thing about this is it's on a pivot. So this thing can travel straight down the fence line, the fence line being here, and that machine can travel straight parallel with it. And Nobody has to move one straight line. It's awesome, it's easy, very convenient. And it can go on either side. It can go on that side, any position in the center, or it can go off to that side. I had an open, uh, I had an open excavation, open, open trench on one side and a narrow space. So this whole setup was perfect. Uh, there's no way I could have done it with a big size machine. So, so far it's paid for itself. Now this, this bad boy was not made in-house. This is a T-Rex Montana Pounder, and it's awesome. Well, we're just gonna show you just how awesome it is. The only downfall that I would say about this is if you're driving straight forward like this, like I just had it, uh, you as the operator, you can control this direction of that post while your ground guy is controlling this direction. It's really hard to see that post past the square piece, so driving off to the side is another benefit. Now we're gonna drive the post. Ready. So I'm sitting here and I'm just visually watching this post. Uh, normally we'd have a, I'd have a guy on the ground that would be watching. Let's see here, me as an operator, I can see this direction and I'm trying to, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I think I'm pretty close. I'm totally guessing on this direction. Ironically, I'm, I think I'm really close. I could definitely go that way a little bit, but uh, the ways that you can control that is if you could kind of see, since this is off to the side, it's trying to flex it that way just a little bit. So I'm trying really to watch how much down pressure I put on it since I'm off to the side. If I was straight forward, I could definitely put more. Uh, so that is one downfall to being off to the side is with this particular machine. Um, it's trying to twist those arms of the MT-85 just a little bit. So I'm really trying to watch my down pressure. And this thing hits really, really hard. Uh, and that's one of the best things about it is when you're in really rocky ground, you need something that's gonna blast through that rock, this is another option. Uh, definitely well worth it. And that's the nice thing is it's so compact that it can get into small areas. 
if you're on a job site and you have minimal equipment access but you also have you're also facing bad ground and your rhino driver is not going to be able to get your posts driven through that bad rocky soil this would be the next step because you don't have to have a full-size skid steer but you can use it with the mt85 and this has more driving force than the rhino driver not saying it's a, not saying that the rhino driver is a bad driver i'm just saying that in the conditions this would be your next step because it can hit harder than the rounder driver and bust through that rocky ground. Well, if you can drive that, how tall of a post can you drive? Well, let's, let's find out together. So you can easily drive a nine foot post the way we have this set up with the MT-85. That's a lot of posts you can get in the ground. That's three feet on a six foot fence, four feet on a five. Hey, before we get any further, I just wanted to go ahead and clarify a couple things. The height here, why this is mounted where it's mounted at. You can lift this all the way up and still get on a nine foot post with the MT-85 and still being able to keep that machine stable on stable ground. There was a lot of math involved, a lot of thought process as to where this needed to go. Uh, so that way it was very universal for the MT-85 and a full size skid steer because you don't want to put it too short and not be able to get on the posts that you really want to be able to get on because we want to be able to get on taller posts such as a nine foot post with the mt-85 the lifting arms only go about six feet so that helps us get on top of that nine foot post if you take a really heavy object and put it way up there you're going to tip over so i mean this thing couldn't be like all the way up here and then you couldn't get on a 12 foot post because you're going to flip over the, the mt-85 because of you know gravity this is universal between a full-size skid steer and an MT-85. So it is very critical that this not be too high for the 85 to the point where you rolled over. Another thing I wanted to clarify is I told you that you could only go up to a 2 and 7 8 post. We wanted to try and find a way around that. We really put our gray matter to the test and came up with these adapters that we had made. So this one will slide right into a 4-inch post. This thing's probably about 60 pounds. The shaft here is still small enough to the point where it will still go up inside the T-Rex, Montana T-Rex pounder. And we can now drive a four inch post with this bad boy. So uses for this and when you'd want to use it. So if you're in really tight spots, you're in somebody's backyard and you just, it's rockier than rocky and you can't get through it. That's the spot right there. And that's if you are not digging and setting. Tight areas. Uh, rocky ground conditions when you need something that's going to hit a lot harder say you're on top of a sandstone shelf and you have nothing that'll get through it this definitely would this is going to hit just as hard if it was on mt-85 or a full-size skid steer the only difference between the two is how much down pressure you have on it we do have the the bigger montana pounder and we, that is for the big machine that thing's a beast because we like that one so much we knew we were going to like this one and this one's beneficial because it's compact, it's small. We can go into big areas or small areas. So if you're looking for a pounder and the Rhino, you need just a little bit more oomph behind it, look in one of these bad boys. You have a good dang day.